If your gaming PC is capable of doing everything at 100 FPS, but your screen is limited to 60 or even 75 Hz, you're bottlenecked. Why render those frames if they're not making it to your eyes? So, if you have an AMD graphics card, I'm going to show you how to overclock your monitor. Just like my NVIDIA tutorial, this will be super easy, and it just uses the software that comes with your AMD graphics card. Step 1 is to right-click on your desktop background and open up Display Settings. Scroll all the way down to the bottom and choose Advanced Display Settings. This is going to show us what the resolution and refresh rate of the monitor are to start with. And if we open up the display adapter properties over here, sometimes it may take a second to load, go over to the middle tab at the top for monitor and look at the refresh rates available to your screen. As we can see here, it only goes up to 65 Hertz. So to enable a custom refresh rate that's higher than what the monitor wants, we need to right click on the desktop background and open up our AMD graphics settings. Go over to the display tab and in the bottom half here, we have custom resolutions. So we're going to go ahead and click on create on the right here. And here, there are a lot of things that you could possibly want to change, but just to keep things safe and make sure everything works, we're only interested in changing the refresh rate here. 65 is where I had it, but we are going to adjust it all the way up to 70. Once you've typed in your number, click on save in the top right corner, and it will be available down below. Now, clicking on it will not apply the resolution, that will only allow you to change the settings. But even if we just go back to that window we had earlier, where we actually choose the monitor's refresh rate, that 70 is not yet available. This is because we have to close all these display adapter properties and reopen them. So go ahead and right click on the desktop background, opening up display settings again, scrolling down to the bottom to get to advanced display settings, display adapter properties, go to the monitor tab, and here we can finally see 70 Hertz is available. Go ahead and click apply rather than okay to test and make sure that it works. As you can see here, the screen flashed blue a couple times, which was actually the monitor freaking out. So I wouldn't really call 70 stable, and then I would go through and eventually work my way down. On this particular screen, I ended up at 68 Hertz, which is okay considering that we started with 60. But the point is that now you have the tools to push your monitor as far as you want. Just be careful not to push it too far because you can break stuff when overclocking. So it's not the most straightforward way of overclocking your screen. It's a few more steps than overclocking with an NVIDIA graphics card, but you can do it somewhat easily with an AMD card. It only takes you five minutes to figure out how far your screen will go. If you're curious how far other screens go, then I have videos about overclocking TVs and a whole bunch of cheap monitors I picked up off of Craigslist, and you can kind of see what the results are over there. As always, make sure to be subscribed for our new content coming up. I'm going to destroy a dozen hard drives, and I'm really looking forward to that this week. So get subscribed, leave a comment down below about how cool this video was, and I'll see you in the next video, whether or not it's cool.